What's going on, guys? Criminal Justice here, and today we're back with another LSP for tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that fight for our freedom. God bless our veterans, and God bless Israel. Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install super events made by Super Pyromaniac. Now, these first came out back in 2019. He did just recently update them, and I'm really glad that he did because I always loved this pack. With that being said, everyone, click the link in the description below. It's going to bring you to this page right here. This is going to be for super events made by Super Power Maniac. Now, I always suggest that everyone go down and read the description of these callouts. I think this is like a callout pack or an event pack. Um, but this is the kind of stuff you got going on. And I'll show you guys how it works in game because it is a little different than a callout pack. Uh, what you want to do is click download the file here. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. You want to click agree and download. And it's going to start downloading. I recommend putting this on your desktop. You are going to need your GT5 main sorry guys main directory if you don't know how to locate that i will leave a link in the top right corner showing you how to locate your main game directory it's like a three minute video go check it out it shows epics you uh users uh steam users as well as rockstar users how to locate your main game directory for those who are ready to go pull it up you're going to be in your main game directory in which the last part of your pathway should say grand theft auto 5 or gt5 okay we're going to open up our our super events winrar double click on this folder and now you want to grab you want to highlight the plugins and then hold down your control key and highlight the pyrocommon.dll and the rage .dll. You're going to grab all this, pull it in your main game directory, drop it in. And if you have anything that needs to be replaced, just go ahead and replace it. If not, just let it fall in. And then if we go to plugins and we go to LSPFR and then you go down, you will see down here that you have a super events um, INI file. Oh, that's super call it super events. And in here, you can pretty much manipulate anything you want, which means you can, if you want to deactivate any callouts, you can just change these to false. Um, I would recommend leaving everything just the way it is. Down here's your interaction key and your event manager. I would just recommend leaving it the way it is. It seems to be pretty good the way it is. I'm going to take you guys a game and show you exactly how this mob works. I will see you all inside of LSPDFR. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So once we are spawned into the game here, if you guys will notice that red circle right there on my map and I will zoom into it not sure why I'm dispatching the call I can't get it to clear but that is what they call a super event so if we go up to the super event we've got a 415 all right in, uh, downtown Vinewood. Units respond and I do have some new call outs to guys so supposedly that red circle is supposed to indicate a super event however it could be below us so let's go down here and this is gonna be a bit unrealistic but I'm going to go this way, and we're going to go under the bridge. So right here, guys, right here it is. So this is a super event right here. I figured it was down below us. So as you guys can see, uh, there's somebody on fire, and we got to get him out of that car quick. Now we're going to get um, we're going to get fire department out here. Bro, you got to get out of that car, my guy. Come on, man. You got to get out, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Get out. Get out of the car, man. So, fire alarm's gonna come in and clear that up. So, that's one example of... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That's one example of a super event, guys. Pretty much what it is, it's just random events. And this guy here. It's just random events that take place around the, the map, around the game. So, yeah, there's here. another super event right over here. Now, they don't spawn uh, too frequently. Like I said, you can probably adjust that in your INI &I file. There's going to be another one down here, and it looks like it's going to be below us again, so we're going to head down this way. So this looks like, oh, yeah, we got people fighting. We got people fighting. So you're going to get stuff like this where people are fighting. I'm going to get him on the ground. Get on the ground, man. Don't you run. Don't you run, bro. Get on the ground, dude. He just punched me right in the face. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. So there's going to be all kinds of stuff that you're going to find, guys. I haven't went through all of them myself. This is actually the first time I'm looking at them uh, in game myself. Uh, but like I said, there's going to be different events that's going to take place. And once this one ends, then there'll be a certain amount of time before another one. Uh, all right, guys and girls. So we're going to need to pull up our main game directory again. Uh, and in here, you're going to want to navigate to plugins. Um, LSPFR, and then you're going to scroll down and you're going to see that super events uh, INI file right here. Now, if you pull this up and you go into uh, this right here, this is where it is. 
Um, right here, this is a very important to read. Time between events. This is the time in seconds that it will wait after another an event to spawn a new one. All right, so in other words, the time between your events, okay? So it's set to 150. Now, the idea of this, if you want them to spawn lower, you probably want to lower this. I'm going to put mine on about 50. I'm going to put mine about to 50 and set it right there, and then I'm going to go up here. I'm going to click File, and I'm going to click Save and Close Out. But that's going to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click all so you never miss any future content or live streams. Until next time, everyone, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer, love one another, and peace out. I will see you all in the next video.